Okay, my name is Sean, and um, I'm a balloonatic. That means I'm crazy about balloons, but I can also do some things that are very scientific with balloons. Did you know that you can make music with a balloon? Part of it acts like a string. Uh, simple, it was simple, simple little bit of music, but if I want to make it louder and better, what I do is put a balloon bubble at the end of the balloon string, and then I take a bigger balloon and I put the bubble into the bigger balloon. Now the reason a bigger balloon is louder is because there's more air for the string to vibrate. And that's what makes noise. Now, to actually make this really good, I'm gonna put this balloon here over the top of that balloon there. Oh, it's all right, stuff falls out of my pocket all the time. And this is what I call a resonator. It kind of looks like a mutant Teletubby. A little bit, but that's a resonator. That's something that makes something resonate or vibrate. Now, I'm gonna pull the string, excuse me, and turn the balloon in while out, and let come to hold the air like so. Now, we have a little resonator happening here. And when I blow the amplifier, It gets louder. If I blow it too much, it explodes, and that's not very good. Okay, but here we go. I'm gonna to try to put this all together to make some music with a balloon guitar. I call it the air guitar. A couple of things you can understand. When I pull on the string, it gets tighter, and the tone or the pitch goes up. And when I let it go really long, it gets really low. That's because the vibration is slower. When it's very short, the vibration is higher. And when I put it like different notes together, different um, durations and different pitches, I can play music like this. Rock and roll. <laughs>